the morning it's friday and we got to sleep in a little bit more since we're able to go in a little later today but i do want to be able to wake up early even though we do go in at seven before clocking in i saw that we got paid a thousand forty six dollars first thing i did was pay two hundred dollars into my phone bill then we clocked in at seven in the morning right after clocking in i went ahead and paid a hundred dollars into my best buy credit card so we could get that over with we're on lunch we came to get canes no this isn't a part of the 100 dollars budget <laughs> While on lunch, I checked my bank account and noticed that I got charged for the real world and talking about the real world, I also got $36 from the real world. It's cool that some of my content from last month was able to pay for part of this month's The Real World membership. On top of that, I sent my mom $100, meaning that I have paid off all of my bills for this week. We don't have any bills until next week, but we still got a couple of things to pay. Sheesh. All right, I just clocked out and I got some recyclables. I also got some in my trunk. I didn't know I had some in my trunk. Once I got home, I actually did my non-negotiables. I was honestly surprised, but I'm happy that I was able to lock in and do the things that I needed to do. It just in time for my footage to transfer. But that was hard. <sighs> It didn't help that I'm exhausted from work, but with this job site, it should really be helpful because I will be able to wake up early. Like if I was going to another job site because we clock in at 7 instead of 6.30 and it is close to my house. I'm still able to wake up at the time I was waking up when I was going to LA to barely make it to the job site where now I'd be able to have time to meditate, run, maybe even read. But that all depends on if I'm disciplined enough to wake up at 5 a.m. even if I got work at 7. I should be because who knows if they're gonna change me to another job site out of nowhere i am still have to be used to waking up at 5 a.m. But now that we've meditated let's go on a run. I guess today's day one again. Drink a gallon of water, done, meditated, run, ran a mile, took a cold shower, about to read, got a journal at the end of the night. So, so far we are 50% through our non-negotiables. Let's make sure we get to at least 75%. That is our non-negotiables. We have to get 75% of our non-negotiables. All right, so today we're at 50% so far, already better than the past two days. Now let's read so we could get ahead of the past two days. After I did my non-negotiables, I also sent $100 to my cash app. Whatever I spend on today is not going to be a part of the $100 budget. That is going to start tomorrow, but I know I have to take this a lot more serious. Slowly but surely, I'm going to be able to not spend money on stupid things such as 7-Eleven, which in a couple of minutes you'll see I went to 7-Eleven, but it's something that i'm transparent about and i'm not ashamed of where i spend my money because at the end of the day money comes money goes you don't die with the money but i know right now i need to lock the fuck in pay off my debt and save up some money because we're gonna have a lot of shit to pay even after we pay off our debt Woo! just finished reading page 175 check that off the box all right so we just finished reading and we got a package um i don't know which one it is though let me, let me, let me, let me find out and they added extra bubble wrap i don't even do that when i sell a game that's a good idea though sonic we got this for 15 bucks i believe oh my god i did not see the back case I used to have this game too. It's got all these games in the in the collection. Um, if we don't end up selling it, it's all good. I'll keep it in my GameCube collection, which is back here, actually. This is my GameCube collection. 
And these are my PS5 games. I mean, not PS5. And these are my PS2 games. That is half for sale and half my personal collection. But I'm going to be playing some retro games on my gaming channel. So once I finish playing some of the games in my personal collection, I will probably put them up for sale because most of the games are story mode games and have an ending. And, you know, you can't really play after you finish the game so my goal is to finish the games as fast as possible so i can start selling them i am going to start selling the ps2 games though the ps2 games are under and all the ps2 games are for sale so after the last clip we went to go visit the what homie the kev fuck? and while we were there we did journal i don't know how to really show you guys my journaling i don't want to just take a picture of my writing because it's ugly but we did all the non-negotiables we had to do to get 75 percent on the day this new creator economy is killing me. No, I'm just playing. I wanted to try these out. <laughs> 